Hello and welcome to Roaring Records Tutorial Messing with Audio Part 5. Here we're going to talk about the Echo Tool and how you might use uh, the Echo Tool or various other effects like it if you wanted to uh, get in and, and do some fun stuff with a single word or something like that. So um, what we're going to do is we're using Bruno Mars. If you haven't seen part one, we talked about how to snap it to the BPM. Go back and check part one. Uh, I think that's really helpful for doing this process. But um, we're going to go in and clip one word out of this initial phrase and then make it repeat itself. So here's the initial phrase. Easy come, easy go. That so easy come, easy go. We're going to make the word go repeat itself several times so if you double click on the audio then you can get in and take a good nice close look at what you're dealing with and I just so happen to be able to know let's listen to it again easy come easy go that this area is the word go so if i come below the line with my marquee tool and i select now i've got the word go separate so I'm going to create a new audio track here, and we'll bring the word go down. Now I do that so that I can edit just that one single word without affecting everything. So if I want to throw on the echo tool to everything, that would sound like this. Easy come, easy, easy go. That's just, That's just how, how you live. Live. Oh, stay. That's not very good at all. So we don't want that. We're going to get rid of that. What we do want, though, is to be able to make the word, I'm going to mute this so we can hear just the word really, really plain and clear. So I'm going to go to playback and say mute just that. So we'll hear the initial phrase, and then we're going to hear an echo on this after we set it up. So we're select our audio two, come to the audio effects, come down to, it's called delay, and this time we're going to use echo. So what are all these things? This is how fast the echo happens after the initial. This is the percentage of the initial that comes back. And this is a color, which means if it's on the positive side, each echo is going to be progressively brighter. And if it's on the negative side, each echo is going to be progressively darker, kind of like adding some EQ effect to it. Dry is the original sound. Wet is the process sound. That's universal. So we want to hear the original at the normal and then uh, a little bit less of the wet or processed sound. So here we go. This is just our basic echo process on just the word go. Easy come, easy go, 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 go. So uh, that kind of gets you a start. Maybe we want a little less dry, a little uh, wet, turn the percentage down, uh, slower. Maybe we want quarter note repeats. Easy come, easy go, 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 go. Easy come, easy go, go, go. So you can hear that each one of those echoes gets just a little bit brighter than the other one. I'm going to really torque the color up so you can hear that. Easy come, easy go, 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 go. So we lose more of the low end frequencies there. Let's go to the dark side. Easy come, easy go, go, go. Uh, you can certainly make them longer. Easy come, easy go. Go, go, go. Maybe a little too long for this song. You can make it faster. You can turn the feedback percentage up so it still lasts a while. Easy come, easy go. It is totally all up to you. If you don't want to see it in exact tempo markings, um, well, I thought you could switch it, but you can't. This is all going to function within the BPM. That also helps it stay uh, sounding nice. So there you go. That's how to isolate one sound so you could uh, make an effect upon it. Uh, Echo is probably the most common one uh, there. So. Hope you enjoy that.